Hey everyone, Zeno and Zimmy here, and welcome back to more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX. Last time, we got to bronze rank and upgraded our toolbox. This time, we are finally, finally going to Great Canyon. Let's change up items. Because I believe, yes. Just deposit a few items. And that's it. Now, be prepared for amazing music. This is the Great Canyon. The peak is called the Hill of the Ancients. According to Alakazam, the Hill of Ancients is on the 13th floor. Zatu should be there. Zeno, let's do our best. This song is, oh my god, it is my childhood. It's just got some good state beat and it just has that adventurous feel. Plus having that feel of like, <laughs> that's what you say, feel of like going through a canyon, which I think is the point. But also feels like going through sands. <laughs> Here we are, sifting through sands of hours as we trek through this great canyon, and we ride to. Find what is our fate, what is our role. Here we go across the sands, the sifting sands of time. They have find to be. I am so sorry. I am not the best person for making up lyrics. Great singer, not really that great of a uh, songwriter. Which also, warning, <laughs> from here on out, there are some good songs that I really like and I do really like singing to them. So, uh, for those of you who don't like hearing Let's Player sing, I am sorry. You'll have to be you have to just put up with this for a while. Anyways, the Great Canyon is a very weird place. Like it's like the canyon itself, the actual dungeon itself isn't weird. It's more of how much of an impact this place has, weirdly enough. Uh, like, to explain, in Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon, this song reappears again and we do have to go see Zatu. And it's in a completely different place, 
technically, which is the weird part. Really? So I'm gonna try and catch that Breloom. Catch, recruit the Breloom. But it's also, this dungeon's also where our trend started. In the original, I believe this is where the Kennically on shop started appearing. At least from the, my knowledge of playing for the games a lot. Really? I blanked out what was, because there was more I was going to say, but I was, I don't that's what it is, I remember what it was, but this dungeon also has, is also sort of a gimmick of this game that we may not see, but we may see, again, as far as I can find, and as far as I play, because I play, I've replayed this game a few times, I don't know if we'll see it, but I have had this place be where a gimmick of this game, another gimmick in this game appear, appears. If you get to play this game before, you know what gimmick I'm talking about. If you haven't, then you may like it, you may not. Your mileage may vary. However, this dungeon, you want to try and gather as much items as you can. Not because this dungeon, not because there is a hard boss at the end, but because of something that happens in the story. I am being not very vague. Might as well show up your status. Really love the status. But also, really hate traps. Jesus. Oh, we're not facing Aridos. Yep, I think we missed our chance. <laughs> Might as well check. Nope. <sighs> and... Here comes some Tauros. How many Tauros did Ash catch that everyone in English tubs never got to see? <laughs> About bloody furry for some reason. Two Aridos, great. Just great. Uh, 
And that's why I hate Aerodos in this game. Because they have a chance of having sword dance. And I hate fighting anything with sword dance or dragon dance. More because they hit like trucks than anything else. Oh, Houndoom. Yeah, we're leaving. We're not we're not dealing with that Houndoom. Actually no, well, let's try and actually take it down just in case. Nope. Really? All right, leveled up. I don't think we'll get any more I, I, much items anyway. Right. There we go. That's what I was wanting to partly see. Not you, Arados. Why are you going towards him? Not that he can do anything. I really don't know why that Ari does thought it could that like Why are you being the one to heal me, Fampy? Got Tauros. <laughs> yes, heal Fampy. Oh, my God, really? This is ending horribly. Yeah, and this is why I'm keeping Max Elixir for a while is actually really useful. Now, back to Kicklion Shops. Oh, that's really good. So is this. Oh, roll call might actually be really good. This is also really good. And so is this. I actually want all of these. Oh, but I have to give up one thing. We've got so many tiny apples, we don't need this many. Here. All right, let's see what else they've got laying around. Oh my god. All right, let's find the stairs and leave. Yes, we finally made it to the top, Zeno. This is the Hill of the Ancients. Look, over there. Zeno, is that Zatu over there? How do I know this thing's a Zatu? Apparently I've got no I've got no memory. I shouldn't know what even a Zatu is. Excuse me, are you maybe Zatu? Uh <laughs> Hello Maybe he doesn't hear me. Hello? Hello? <sighs> it's useless. He's not responding at all. 
maybe sleeping while on his feet. Zeno, what should we do? I love how she's how the partner says that he's leaving on his feet. They looked around at his face. As we'll soon see, he has his eyes open all the time. I think him being asleep with his eyes open is more impressive. But we shall do the most we will do the most despicable thing. Tickle him. Huh? Tickle him? Okay, it's worth a try. I'm imagining her using the leaf on her head to tickle him. <sighs> Apparently I'm an asshole. Because I'm just doing nothing. <laughs> I didn't realize that. It's no good, Zeno. He's not responding. Huh? <laughs> He's finally laughing now? Is he... Just dense. Yikes! Witness it. The sinking of the sun. Indeed. I am Zatu. You discern my true identity. You are not an ordinary soul. Guessed your identity? That's a bit much. No, I can tell this. You there. You are no ordinary Pokemon. You are human. Yes. Huh? How can you tell that? All day. I stare at the sun, unblinking. Like I said, more impressive that, he's, that he apparently is asleep, if he was apparently sleeping with his eyes open. It gives me sight for all things, pa the past and the future too. If you know this, please tell us, Zatu. Next to me is my friend Zeno. My friend woke up one morning as a Pokemon, and without any memories as a human. Zatu, you can tell, can't you? Please, tell us. The calamities of nature. There have been many in recent time. They occur because the world's balance is upset. And you're, and you're becoming a Pokemon. They are tied together, inseparably so. Wait, Zeno becoming a Pokemon and the natural disasters? They're related? What do you mean? What does Zeno I mean, have to do with the natural disasters we've been seeing? What is it? What did you clam up? Please, tell us. Please. There are bigger concerns. I am afraid. The world's balance. It must be restored. Or the unthinkable shall befall our world. Huh? You're serious? The world... The unthinkable is coming? Every day I see it. The same future. Every day. I dread it. Z Zatu. I fear it. 
The world's destruction. The world's destruction? <laughs> Isn't that a surprise? Then Zeno was human? <laughs> That's gonna be useful. This is gonna be interesting. <laughs> And with that heavy dropping, let us return. Yes. Having another fan piece is going to be very useful. No. Yes, I'm keeping Tauros. No. But with that, we'll continue the story next time. This is Zeno and Azuma of Rescue Team Mystery, signing out.